with me today, I'm going to show you another magnetic palette that I have put together. Um, this isn't trying to dupe or vibe any other palettes, this is just something I had fun with. Um, it's kind of, I guess, inspired by uh, my newest palette from ColourPop, which is the uh, Meant to Be, which is my newest purchase. I got that one and the lilac one. And so, kind of took colors out of that and are going to um, put together this a nine pan palette. This is it. And um, from the Mint B palette, I used these three smaller pans. And I'm just so loving mossy greens right now. Like there's not enough going on in the kind of mossy green emerald department in the makeup palettes as far as I'm concerned. There's a few like olive ones that are kind of intriguing me. But overall, I just wish um, for singles there was like a little bit more where mustard yellow meets like olive, you know what I mean? Like that color family, I'm really into right now. So this is kind of feeding that right now, not not so yellowy, this is much cooler. And um, I do have another cool tone magnetic palette that I'm putting together that I want to show you guys I've been playing with and it's kind of like my colors, if you will, my colors. So um, sneak peek, that will be coming up soon too if you're enjoying these videos. And for today's look, it's so, so simple. Um, I used this here, this like um, kind of like taupey bronze called Tinker Time from ColourPop. I used it all over my lid with like a sticky um, base. It's the NYX uh, Glitter Glue Base. And so that kind of amped up the, the like uh, reflectivity and made it look a little bit more wet than typical. And then I took um, this mossy green shade and just sort of like drew in like the shape of the eye that I wanted today in kind of a smoky way and then I buffed it out with um, uh, this color here this kind of lighter color so I didn't even try to like blend this green out I just used this over the edge and because they came in a monochromatic color pot palette they work together so that's what's so great about those palettes like don't get stuck on just using them like by themselves especially those monochromatic palettes like you can pop out those or even just, you know, lay them out there small enough on your counter and get some really cool looks. And if you're inspired by a particular color to create your own color story, um, they're nice to rely on if you can, if you grab a small group of them because you know they're going to work really well together. So that's kind of what I did here. And I just added in um, some more fun colors and then like my favorite greens here. The brush that I used to create my look today um, is just this very flat brush. So it was really nice for kind of just taking this color and I can pack it on and even draw right here that kind of shape I want because it can be very pencil-like if you just use the top opposed to the side. And um, then I just used a fluffy brush to kind of buff out with this color here. So yeah, just two brushes and then the lid color I just used my finger. So it was so simple, yet it's kind of fun and out there, I think. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to subscribe. I've got a few more subscribers, which is really exciting. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate all the comments. And you, know, you guys have given me a couple of like really cool suggestions to do with makeup and like revive my super shock. So it's been really fun engaging with you guys. And yeah, I really appreciate it. So thank you for being here. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the overhead shot. Alright you guys, so you know the drill. Let's go over the swatches in this newest palette I put together. So this first one, I believe this is Loaded from Urban Decay. You guys have seen this before. This next one, um, let's see, should I go down or across? It doesn't really matter. Let's go just for fun, we'll go down. This is Tinker Time. a really pretty 
pretty like bluish sheen to it. When the light hits it in certain ways, it's really cool. And then this next one's from the Mint B. It's called Mint Tea, spelled T-E-A. <laughs> it's cute, and then it's this really cool. because those came from the same um, monochromatic palette. I knew that they would work well together, which definitely plays in my favor when I'm doing some of these fun palettes and putting together my own color stories. Like, I know that those are going to work together because ColourPop kind of created them too, so that's kind of fun. Just take a few out, play around that. Okay, next is a pressed glitter. You guys have seen these a lot because I only have two pressed glitters plus the one from the yellow monochromatic palette from ColourPop. But I have one kind of cool pinky tone one and then one warmer one and those just kind of, depending on the look I'm going for, suit my needs. So you'll see a lot of these repeated. If you're not a fan of these pressed glitters, then I would recommend placing this color in the um, if you were trying to like mimic or be inspired by this, um, a nice peach metallic instead. And this is Chill Factor from the Mint to Be. Really nice matte. This one is like a very deep teal, this one here, this Urban Decay one, and it can like play like black on the eyes, which I think it was designed to, it's from the Smoked palette way back in the day, so that's kind of what they did in that palette, they made everything really dark and rich and so it was smoky, but um, this can really brighten this up if I buff the edges of this out, it's really nice, and I love these two together, this all over the lid and this in the crease, like just kind of buffed out. It's a really nice pretty grunge look. These two together are obviously really nice and then I like doing this matte and just tapping this glitter right over the center. Um, it's actually one of the looks that I do in this video and uh, it's just really fun. And again, you can use like a peach metallic instead and the color play is um, the same. It's really, really fun. So moving on, this is just like your standard kind of skin toned buff out shade. It's called Hand Me Out. It's just kind of a nice vanilla color. I can't remember if you guys have seen this before. I definitely use it all the time. But I have a few kind of like that. Okay, two more. I wanted a nice emerald green. This is Humid from MAC. And I think it's really hard to find this kind of green in a single on the market. Really even in like a palette where it's not just like a pop of color. It's like a really true emerald and it is a metallic. Mine's kind of old so it doesn't have the sheen I used to, but... Oh my gosh, yeah. 
it's really pretty. So I wanted like kind of a truer green to play with some of these more minty greens. And then I definitely knew I wanted a bronze. And I think that this works pretty well. These minty tones. I wasn't sure if it was going to make this look a little too yellow, which I didn't really want because I've been doing a lot of kind of yellows lately. So I wanted to keep this kind of cooler. Okay, last one. I believe you've seen this before. This is Details. It's a really great neutral. It's kind of like plum meets brown. It does have some gold flecks. Um, if you pat and use a sticky base, they transfer. For the most part, they don't. My uses in this palette, I'm not really trying to do that. So yeah, I wanted these two deeper tones here. And then most of the mid-tones to be in the green. And then I definitely wanted a contrasting um, glitter in color. And so I picked something that was a little bit more peachy. And you can't tell, it looks really pink just right here, but over the green it's very peachy. And that's what's fun about some of these like multicolored glitters is, and why I don't really find that I need to buy more than just the two I have is because they play so differently on different um, colors. So sometimes they look peach, sometimes they look blue, sometimes they look purple because they'll kind of get lost in um, the, the base color, like the color that's most similar will get lost in the base color of your lid. And then, you know, the rest of the colors will show and then depending on color interaction. So, I don't know, it's really fun.
it's super easy so I didn't do like a tutorial or anything. I can definitely do tutorials if you guys want to see. I just feel like my looks are so like simple and kind of like smudgy-ish that you can kind of look at them and if you know the colors I use then you can achieve it. But let me know what you guys think down below. So. structured color stories that you're used to in one single palette it's just it's so fun to mix and match so anyways and yeah hopefully this video will kind of help you get some ideas on how to use those monochromatic color pop palettes if you are you know a collector of them but you kind of don't know what to do with them because they are just kind of if you just use them by themselves they kind of only have like there's only so many looks you can do I mean even if you picked three different colors and three different colors and did one on each eye because they're toned so similar which I personally love some people don't love because you know it's just a one note kind of look with just that palette but like I, if I'm looking for a particular color let's say I want pink I know that I can just go to that ooh la la color pop and I can pull from it and know that there's a variety of pinks there and a variety of finishes so if I want a matte it'll be there if I want a shimmer it'll be there satin if I want something that works well with pink. So for instance in the La La palette there's like that really pretty like moonstruck I think it's called gold. It works really well so for me it's easier even though sometimes people have a hard time just using one palette. For me it's easier to go like oh yeah and go pull from those and I just I know that they work so I don't know hopefully that makes sense and hopefully it makes it easier for you guys to kind of work with those in a way that you maybe never thought to or wanted to and weren't really sure how. So. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today. This was a really fun video to do. Hope you guys are staying safe and, you know, having a great spring, enjoying the, the warmer weather. And 